G'day there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Wingnut, of course, joined by Mystical, and we have, as they said, a mirror matchup. Triple Barg, Stormbringer, Stork, Hyena, Double Caracal, Double Scalpel. And uh, that's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Mystical, you might. Hey, that's fine. Um, yeah, I find it quite interesting that they've gone for the mirror here, but at least they're both bringing the Hyena, um, I think, critical to the Barg's success in many of these matches. So we'll just have to see what they decide to go for first. I think they should go for. The smaller ships, you know, they should clear out the hyena on the opposing team, maybe some of those scalpers as well, and then work their way through. But uh, I think my bet's on Caracals here for sure. Caracals are one Caracals of the weakest are? things here. All right. Well, I can see that the red team's burning in while the blue team is actually moving away. So one of the things about missiles that I don't think we've mentioned so far is that when you're burning away and the opposing target's burning in, it kind of extends the range a little bit. And if you're burning after a target was shooting, um, it shortens the range of your missiles. So that's something to keep in mind, considering they're both missile teams. Yes, and speaking of the missiles as well, both teams have fitted rapid heavy. So it, as far as I can see, in almost every way, these are pretty much mirror matches. I can't see any differences. I see a Stormbringer firing its gun, though. That's new. Yeah, it seems like they're leading with the Stormbringer at this moment in time, but the Hyena of Rima is burning up a little bit. I think the Hyena does need to go first to try and pin down one of the targets that they need to shoot. But the problem with that is the hyena on the dock workers team is going to be able to web and tp him back so it would very much be a trade at that point in time but it seems like they're just say, on a beacon i say i am loving watching the stormbringer trying to shoot and doing utterly nothing <laughs> and that caracal I, i'm not glad i called that caracal dead yeah so i think the caracal stopped on the beacon i'm not sure if he activated it which would have bloomed his sig um, but i think the major issue that we're seeing from the dock worker side is that they stopped um, that's something that you don't want to do against bar guests. Um, stopping your ship is the worst thing that you can do, actually, against missile ships in general. So I'm not quite sure what dock workers are going for there. And in the end, they didn't activate the beacon anyway. So it seems like they and regrouped. Back in. Yeah. yeah, and then they're just burning in again. So I'll be interested to see what they decide to do. They may have some smart bombs on their bar guests to try and clear rep drones, uh, but know. I don't see that at the moment. So they burned back, like they turned around and burned straight back in. The hyena went the furthest back in of all and just got deleted for his effort. That was... That was not the right call there at all. We've got two kite setups that are just essentially charging each other for a short time there. Yeah, I think that dock workers are trying to break through the bar guest of David. That's where most of their attention is going, but they're losing the scalper, which we just saw. They've lost the hyena. They've lost two caracals. So their support wing is falling apart in exchange for potentially one bar guest kill, um, which right. isn't necessarily too bad, but they won't be able to rep once this thing, when, when this next scalper goes down. So they are on the back foot now. And they'll have trouble applying too, because they've lost their, their application hyena, they've lost their ships that can apply to things. Once this Bargus dies, they could pick another Bargus, sure, but after that, they've still got to kill the Caracals and the Scalpel at some point, or at least try and pressure them. They've got no real way to do it anymore. Yeah, I think the scalp, uh, the Caracals should be fairly easy to kill for the Bargus, even without the webs and the TPs. Um, obviously, it will take longer than it should, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it's a bad trade, I think, to trade your entire support wing and logistics for a bar guest. And that hasn't even happened because they've probably gone on reload as uh, exactly, rapid heavy yeah. ships. Yep, they're de almost definitely on reload, so the scalpel's going to try and boost them up as much as they can. Just uh, basically waiting for them to come off reload now on both sides, right? It's kind of like downtime between the two of them. <laughs> All right, half time, boys. Take a, take a moment. And here comes the missus, I think, again. Nope. Yeah, I, I saw a missile come out, but uh, yeah, the missile has one, so yeah, I'm not right. I can see fireworks. I mean, maybe that's what we're seeing at this moment. I can see fireworks coming out and hitting the opposing teams. <laughs> you you got to have them fireworks. Moral victory. Okay, the bar guest does go down, which means that it is now two bar guests versus three, but the two bar guests haven't have a team. So um, I think Datto just goes down next without any reps to back him up. And, you know, Leona. And May should be able to tank long enough to trade effectively with those scalpels. Although we are seeing Vorian and the Caracal going down slowly. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that the um, that Bargus didn't have higher shields before the uh, Bargus had reloaded. He was still like one third shield. I thought the scalpels would have got him right back up to full to get by as much time as possible to kill this other Bargus. Now you see Dado is going into low shield now. Looks like he's got some shield rep drones onto him. Yeah, he's got some small bots, but the Stormbringer, I think, and the Stormbringer on the other side are basically clearing those bots by shooting their respective targets, which is one of the issues, I guess, with having Stormbringer on your own team, is that it will still bounce to drones, so. Yeah. Datto's slowly going down. 
There's been an utter lack of drones throughout this fight. I think the Stormbring has just meant that everyone who put drones out immediately lost them. I see like a single Hornet EC over there and, and a couple of uh, Acolytes. That's really about it. We've seen some drones, yeah. But like you said, the Stormbringer bouncing onto the drones, I think some of the bar guests perhaps having smart bombs as well, meaning that most drones aren't going to last long. Although there are two Acolytes out on May in the bar guest, yeah. I think his own. So uh, yeah, not put them on a target yet, which is interesting. And someday he'll figure out how to click F for his two light drones. <laughs> so yeah, one of the things, good. yeah, one of the things we haven't mentioned yet, I think, is just the scalpel rep range, right? I think the issue with the logistics frigates in a chitin comp is that they have to be on top of the target they're repping. So we're seeing that both of the scalpels have to pull away from the bar guests, which I think they were supporting at the very beginning, towards Keith in the Caracal because he's sitting so far away, which means if they wanted to switch, they should be able to onto any of those other targets like the Stormbringer, but I think they yeah. probably would tank long enough. And it's a delicate dance as well. You've got a set amount you can actually really rep. You've got to keep your other rep buddy alive and close to you. You've got to keep your speed up to avoid missiles, drones, and guns. It's a delicate dance to try and fly those Logi frigs correctly, and there's a lot of people who just can't quite get it right. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely one of the harder roles, I think, in the tournament, especially if the enemy team has its sights set on, you know, killing you. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case for dock workers at, the, at this moment in time. They just stop shooting. I think they've killed the caracal there. Um, so just taking their time to perhaps reload their missile systems um, and then, I guess, shoot the Stormbringer, maybe. Yeah, let's try and figure which one they're going for. They might be going for the Stormbringer. Honestly... What do you really go for in this situation now? Do you try and take a bar? Do you try and remove the scalpels? Do you go for the Stormbringer? I think they're just going for as many points on the board as they can because I don't see them winning uh, 2v1 with Barghast even if the scalpels and the hyenas didn't exist. So um, I think it is very much just a case of they've got, they, they might as well do something while they wait, right? Yeah, I think at this point you could probably say they pretty much lost unless they can, they can force like a mass uh, boundary. Well, the, you know, he should have gone for the play where he just sits on the arena edge and tries to get them to burn into him, you know, uh, ignoring the fact that Barghest can hit like 100 kilometers. So. You could have maybe got the stalk, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe if you just burned him. Um, we're seeing some pretty, pretty firework effects on stream at, the, at this moment in time. Um, as, really yeah, as the Barghest does take the brunt of the damage from the Barghests of the opposing team. Um, just waiting for the reloads at, at this moment in time, I think. Yeah, I think this bugger should die on this reload. Should. So Is this how you... Ex Sorry, go on. These Stormbringers. These Stormbringers. Do you think they've really added much to this fight from either side? Like, I've just, all I've seen is essentially just them nuking everyone's drones, including friendlies. Really I think that's game? one of the strengths of the Stormbringer. I know that we mentioned it earlier on the stream uh, about just Eden Comships in general, but the gun, for anyone who doesn't know, is able to bounce around to, I think, five targets. So if you shoot somebody, it's going to bounce to an additional five or four. Can't quite remember. Um, and the benefit of that is that it does help clear drones. And, and in the tournament setting, we do often see rep bots. In this case, I'm not quite sure that rep bots would have done much necessarily just because both teams should have been burning around. It's just that one team decided to sit still and lose three ships, and the other team, I guess, hasn't really been pressured that much. So, but yeah, I, I do see a point in bringing them. Maybe not the Stormbringer, though. Maybe you know, Skybreakers or the Frigate yeah, variants. That's, that's what I was asking because I feel like a Skybreaker could work for this situation, but bringing in a Stormbringer, like all you've all they've really done here is just kill each other's drones. And there he goes. He just went pop as I said that. Yeah. Alrighty, well. well Clear. We're going to go back to the studio, I think. 